This is JSA TV, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine of JSA, and we are coming at you live from beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida for Metro Connect 2023. And I am here with my old friend. I always feel bad saying old friend because- Why does he call me old? Because I'm not, I'm not old enough to be your father, am I? I don't think quite old enough to be my father. Anyway, my old friend, Mr. Lenny Chessel. Lenny is the chief evangelist at I Am Critical. Lenny as always, it is great to see you and welcome to JSA TV. It's so good to be back after a little hiatus. It feels good to be around all, even the people who are kind of sneezing a little bit. I, I'm okay with being I around them. Right before I got here. <laughs> I did it right, in the, right here in the jacket. So Lenny, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about I Am Critical? Well, I am critical of all things, especially your behavior of late. I've been meaning to talk to you about that, but that's <laughs> another topic for another day. I, I, I knew this is how this was going to go, course. so please. So I am critical is a data center operator, and our first uh, property is here, right here in South Florida, in mm -hmm. Miami, mm -hmm. 100,000 square foot data center in uh, Little River. So we uh, took over that property in October of 2021, yeah. and we've been spending a lot of time uh, doing a lot of work there and a lot of excitement around. Uh, the fact that as a data center, uh, we actually have five megawatts of power available, 50,000 square feet mm -hmm. of available space. And uh, it puts us in a very unique position to bring new customers in here to South Florida and not to the traditional providers. So we're, yeah. we're, we're an alternative, got all the network in the world. It's a wonderful building. Uh, I happened to work there 20 three years ago. Well, tell us about that. Tell us about the building. Uh, the building is an old uh, local uh, serving center, local wire center from AT&T. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all solid concrete, 14 foot ceilings, 200 uh, pounds per square foot, uh, floor load, six megawatts of power, and that's all going to increase. New AC, new power, new UPSs. We're doing a lot of work in the building. So it's very exciting. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, uh, Lenny, there's a lot of stuff coming out of the newsroom at, uh, at IM right now, but uh, some big award news. You want to talk about that? Sure. So the other property mm -hmm. is our property up in Pittsburgh, East Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. Wilkinsburg at 900 Britain Road. And uh, interestingly enough, without even having completed the site ready and our modular data centers that we're building here in our plant in Fort Lauderdale, yeah. 6,000 square foot three megawatt, our first pod for that six acre property. I love it. Uh, we um, work together with this great marketing firm. I don't know if you've heard of them. It's called JSA. They do some great work. I have heard of them and you should hear of them too. You should. I recommend them <laughs> highly. Uh, I give them five stars on Yelp. Anyway, um, so we submitted an application for startup business of the year, part of the Pittsburgh Technology mm -hmm. Council's awards, annual awards, and we won. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to say I was surprised. I was surprised, but we're very proud of that fact. Yeah. So we're already getting great recognition for the work that we're doing in Pittsburgh uh, for that campus. The exciting part around that is the high performance compute right. capability yeah, yeah. that we'll be bringing into that data center, uh, the ability to have very high density, uh, traditional 10 megawatt, 10 kilowatts per cabinet. Yeah. Forget about it. Yeah. Uh, we'll have 35 kilowatts, we'll have 75 kilowatts, and at some point in the future, be able to handle all the density of supercompute capabilities. So you just said the word future, and that's what I want to talk about right now. Sure, so, I love the future. Uh, as somebody who has been in the industry a hot minute, um, many, many, many hot minutes, um, and a few cold ones. And I, so, tell us, tell us what you see for the future, and not just as it relates to IM, but mm -hmm. generally speaking, where's where, where's this industry going? So, you know, it's it's a combined uh, uh, thought that I have, which is continuation of higher density. Uh, workloads, right? Mm -hmm. So all AI, all the autonomous activity that's going on, uh, all the 5G work that's going on, all the edge stuff that's going on. So we're in the middle of that, not only on the IAM critical side, but on the IAM data center side, mm -hmm. in the fact that we're able to build out these incredibly efficient uh, modular data centers. So yeah. again, the Pittsburgh data center is going to be a showcase for our abilities to handle these higher density loads in your traditional data centers, uh, what we what we know as as a traditional 70,000, 100,000, 500,000 square foot building, yeah. you gotta cool the whole building, you gotta power the whole building. Right. But when you build modularly 
and you have the ability to build these tight envelopes in these modular data centers, uh, you're able to have a higher R factor. You're able to use some sustainable technology. You're able to use microgrid technology yeah. as it relates to batteries and power. Uh, there's there's a whole lot coming down the pike as it relates to hydrogen power, self sustainability, solar power. Yeah, yeah. So we're implementing technologies to not only be able to handle the higher density as it relates to power, cooling, chill door cooling, uh, containment, hot aisle containment, mm -hmm. uh, applying 55 degree water at, at the at the door of the of the cabinets. I love it. So you, what you're doing is you're having to not build larger footprints. You're building smaller footprints and being able to cool at the cabinet and not try to cool the whole data center. So we're building this sustainable, capable, high performance compute environment. And that's the world. That's where the world is going. I believe it. I believe it. That that does feel like the future to me. We had Bloom Energy on earlier and uh, Cumulus uh, just this morning, uh, both kind of echoing some of the things that you're saying right now. So but how could they echo something that I hadn't said yet? Uh, you are echoing their message now. That we're echoing. I was going to say that's what that <laughs> Did you all get together on this? No, no, uh, no, no. no. At, at any rate, um, so uh, thank you very much, uh, Lenny. Uh, but for our viewers that want to learn a little bit more about IM, where should they go? They could go to Miami and visit me and my data center. And they you should do that. Go to Pittsburgh and visit our campus where we're going to be uh, delivering uh, our 10 pods, uh, the 10 modules in April sometime. Love it. Or you could go to imcritical.com. I am datacenters.com, or you could just pick up Greener Data and read all about our sustainability in the Greener Data book where uh, Jennifer Von Bismarck has one chapter as well as our CEO, Michael Rourke, has a chapter. And we are going to speak to Michael Rourke uh, very, very soon as well. Um, and I think that's a wrap. Anything else? Uh, did you try the fish wrap yesterday? It was delicious. I uh, I had the blackened uh, the blackened mahi sandwich yesterday, and it was Excellent. very good. Yeah, Excellent. yeah. It's always great to see you, Lenny. Always a pleasure, my friend. You get you bet. And it's always great uh, for you to be here with us on JSA TV. We will see you soon.